somewhere where our people can feel good about ourselves as a culture, okay? Yeah. No, no, real talk. And so all this twerking and Today I'm going to be reacting to a video of a restaurant owner going off on pigs but twerking in his restaurant. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before I get started, I want you to watch the entire video. If you like the video, comment, like, subscribe at the end of the video. But first, watch the entire video. Next, I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. Okay, today I'm going to be reviewing a video of a restaurant owner that's going off on some pigs in his restaurant for twerking. Now, at the back end of this story, I would not be able to play the beginning of the video because someone copyrighted it. But I'm able to play the part where he's actually talking to the pigs in the restaurant. All right. And the reason why I'm saying the word pigs is because I think that it's going to be very relatable once we start watching the video and you start to look at the girls that are in the video. I think what I'm saying is really going to match. Now, before I before I play this video, I just want guys to understand that. Everything is getting out of line and it's too far out of line now in reality. We have made twerking part of a culture. We have made prostitution part of a culture. Everything that's bad seems to be good now, even in health. It's like, it's like, it's, you could be overweight, healthy, about to die, and no one is supposed to tell you, hey, I think you need to get in shape. You know, I think you need to try to save your life. It's almost like, we just forced to treat people how they want to feel inside, even though their outside can be destroying them. All right, let's get started. I invested a lot of money into buying this building, into developing this concept, so black people can have somewhere nice to go to, okay? Somewhere where we can feel good about ourselves as they the want. Stop to be clean. Somewhere where our people can feel good about ourselves as a culture, okay? Yeah. No, no, real talk. And so all this twerking and Okay, I just want to start off by saying I feel his pain when he's saying I built something where black people can come to and be comfortable. All right, most black people that are successful and have a business, right? The first thing that they do when they get their money is try to go back and hire black people and try to go back and do things for black people. There hasn't been a business owner that I've met that was black that did not say that. All right. But when you try to go back and help out others, you try to go back and, and, and build for your own, they turn around and destroy it, which is why the community can never grow. All right. And this outcome has happened time after time after time. You may even be able to get a restaurant started or getting a business started. But eventually, if too many of them come to your restaurants, them pigs, it will eventually get destroyed. Real talk. And so all this twerking and shit, take it to prime, take it to pink, don't bring it here because we're a restaurant. And so beyond that, 75% of my customers are ladies. And I'm on men to show respect for themselves for how they carry themselves here. So how can I tell the men to respect themselves and you guys are twerking on glass here? If you want to do it, you fuck out my restaurant. Because I did it for our people and I did it for our culture. So don't do it, no, don't do it again. I don't want to hear it. If you don't like it, get out because I don't need your money. I need to pr provide something for my people. And don't do it again. Thank you. I just want to say big shout outs to that black man for doing that big shout outs to a man in general for doing that but I also want him to understand that nobody in that restaurant is actually going to respect you because they're running wild they think that they are above you that's the problem that we're facing is that there's no respect there's no self respect so there's no respect for anyone else out there as an African-American man and African-American people, you have a big difference between black people and niggers. And niggers have morphed into their own species race of people. When you try to do something good in a field full of niggers, they don't know how to help you to grow. All they know how to do is have the crab in the barrel mindset, right? But a lot of people that become successful in the African-American community, you're always thinking, if I go back and help, maybe I could change because there was nobody there for me. If I go back there and help and change because nobody there for me, maybe everything will change. It doesn't. The more you get in, the more you try to help, 
the faster you're going to be destroyed. I learned a long time ago not to hire blacks. I give blacks opportunities to start their own business. I'll do that. I've given guys loans and given them money to go start their own business. But I refuse to let one work for me because it's going to come to the point where they're going to feel like we deserve the same pay. All right. And I went deeper into this just off that video because it's a deeper mindset than just a black owner telling women not to twerk in the video. It's more like, why would you even come in the restaurant and do it in the first place? That's where the curse is at, all right? This is Anthony Spade. Hopefully you was able to get the message behind this video. Hasta la vista.